The Mediterranean Sea is one of the most exposed areas worldwide to the problem of marine litter. In fact, it's recently defined that the concentration of plastic, and particularly microplastic, in the Mediterranean Sea is almost on the same range of the five oceanic gyre. For this reason was born the Plastic Buster project. Marine litter is one of the biggest issues that the Mediterranean is uh, facing these days. It's an issue that, that is not yet fully understood. It's certainly um, one of the defining problems of the pollution of the Mediterranean these days. And that is why it has received and continues to receive increasing um, attention at the international uh, level. The project Plastic Buster is leaded from the University of Siena and particularly from the United Nations Network, SDSN. The project is devoted to the mitigate the impact of marine litter in the Mediterranean area, involving southern and north Mediterranean country on the issues of marine litter. Uh, marine litter is mainly made of plastics and what is happening at sea is that plastic is fragmenting and degrading. And at the end, instead of having one large piece of plastic, you may have thousands of microplastics. I think it's quite uh, urgent to take some measures and uh, research for better management and reduction regime. Plastic Busters was adopted by the 43 countries of the Union for the Mediterranean, who was labeled by them in February 2016. And this is a very important recognition of the importance of the issue at Mediterranean level. The project Plastic Buster was articulated in four main action that moving from the diagnosis of the problem to the potential solution at basin scale. Very wisely, Plastic Pasta as its flagship uh, project. Actually, SDSN related to Plastic Pasta, it's one of the few scientific contributions presenting solutions, allowing how to identify, how to map and it is also giving a sort of very geographical, local solution. The first action is to cover the existing gap on the knowledge of the impact of marine litter on the Mediterranean Sea. will be devoted to identify the presence of hotspot area and particularly to identify the impact of macro and microplastic on the Mediterranean biodiversity. That is the main goal of the project, using marine organisms, such as, for example, fin whale, as bioindicator species. The most of the impacts are uh, related to uh, ingestion of litter by marine organisms, but also entanglements. And we do have the problem of uh, billions of microparticles that are floating at the surface of the Mediterranean Sea, transporting uh, different species in different areas, enabling to, uh, I mean, colonization, you know, this kind of uh, impact. One of the main focus of this diagnostic phase of the project is try to identify the effect of plastic and microplastic on edible fish species, in order to understand also the potential consequence to human health. The mitigation action is an essential rule of the Plastic Buster project that was devoted to reduce and mitigate the impact of marine litter in the Mediterranean Sea. Several demo actions will be, for example, the application of the Fishing for Litter activity. The Fishing for Litter will be involved also in another important aspect that will be the circular economy because the plastic that can be recycled and reused to produce new items. Basically the overall idea is for example to explore the feasibility of a plastic bag levy or how we can reduce the use of plastic bags or for example how we can put in place the extended producer responsibility scheme or also to try and mitigate the impact of marine litter in marine litter hotspots uh, through fishing for litter activities or through targeted recovery of ghost nets. The Plastic Buster project not only will enhance scientific knowledge on marine litter, but it will also seek 
to strengthen the science policy society interface in terms of putting concrete solutions into practice. Practice and operationalize the two main legislative frameworks. This is the Marine Strategy Framework Directive and the respective programs of measures of the countries, but also the regional plan for marine litter management in the Mediterranean. And also to showcase how all Mediterranean countries can work together in a coordinated manner. Many countries from the Middle East and North Africa region, they put the plastic waste in their top priorities. And if there is no adequate uh, solid waste management uh, practices, we will have, of course, uh, dump sites. And then, of course, definitely we will find the waste in the sea. So we need to develop a common strategy that could be translated into national uh, programs and strategies. And I think that projects like uh, Plastic Busters, uh, SweepNet and uh, Swim Horizon 2020 support mechanism, uh, we are creating a platform in the uh, Mediterranean Sea. A platform where experts, uh, institutions, uh, governments, researchers, NGOs and private uh, sector also are contributing to tackle the problem of plastic uh, waste. And finally, one of the main final goals of the Plastic Buster project will be to give support to the governance action to reduce the impact of marine litter on Mediterranean scale. The way governments have mobilized and the international community uh, has mobilized itself uh, promises uh, through uh, you know, both legislative uh, initiatives such as the Regional Action Plan and uh, action on the ground such as the Plastic Busters project promises to be uh, relevant and, uh, and uh, impactful.